This is a story about a very rare airplane. It's also a story about the man who flies it. Jim Foster has been flying since 1949, and this plane that he flies dates back about as far. They don't make the Stearman anymore. It used to be made by the same people who gave us the 747, Boeing aircraft. Well, it was uh, really designed for a World War II advanced trainers, which practically, once a fella could fly it, he could fly about anything. Mm -hmm. It's uh, an airplane you can do anything you want to in the air if you've uh, got the ability to stay in it. Mm -hmm. uh, the airplane will um, uh, is a, a booger to land. It, it will take you through the pea patch about any time that you think you've got it whipped. Uh, the sights in this plane at 3,000 feet can take your breath away, and it takes no time at all to get lost in an era gone but not forgotten. This is the way flying was meant to be. Pilots today are, uh, are not taught this type of flying, and most airplanes are even restricted against it. And all I have is a compass. So you're flying by the seat of your pants? Well, we're flying uh, definitely by headings, or, you know, kind of, we're going that way. Jim flies the Stearman all over the Midwest, in and out of town, promoting for a sponsor and raising money for kids. Yes, you could call him a modern-day barnstormer. We uh, travel from one airport to the other and put on a, uh, pull the banner over this town, a designated town, and also, uh, we had uh, uh, the show for the kids and they could examine the airplane, which uh, was back in just about as close as you could get to barnstorming again. So the barnstorming and stunt flying lives on with Jim Foster and his steerman, and what a way to earn a living. 